By the way, this story just went up on InfoWars.com. You saw MSNBC a few months ago say in promos, your children belong to the government and the state. You've seen the California argue in federal courts that parents should have no, parents, period, should not be the guardians. It's the state now and all the perverts that work at the state. Uh, New Jersey Supreme Court. State can seek custody of a child without evidence of abuse. Look at that ruling. New Jersey has got so many good people and listeners there. We have just massive listenership, but I, I just see more evil and more bizarreness and more corruption out of New Jersey. I mean, it is a government, well, it's not an armpit, it's something worse. It's a government rear end uh, where they just crap all over everybody. I'm sorry, but that's what they're doing. And it says the New Jersey Supreme Court ruled this week that authorities, not servants, they're the authorities. We do it all for your safety can seek custody of a child even where there is no evidence of abuse or neglect. My goodness. And in Germany, they're taking the kids of homeschoolers and Christians. I had lunch or breakfast with people from Denmark. And I looked up their case. It's a famous case. I've got their cards somewhere. I meant to get them on. Uh, and, and, and they're Christians that, that, that tried to homeschool, so they called them terrorists and took a bunch of their kids. I, I mean, it's just the state is a cult. It's a cult, man. We're all in danger. The case involved a divorced Camden County mother of nine-year-old twins. 2007, she asked New Jersey to visit the Child Protective Services for help, claiming she was unable to care for the girls who had psychological and developmental difficulties needed to be placed in residential care. Yeah, your kids are so damaged from all the chemicals and biologicals and the food and water, you just give them to the state. And in the future, they're going to euthanize them. That's what they're moving for. By the way, you think I'm kidding. That That's on record, the plan. Uh, you can turn them over the division for help, but it may come with a cost, says Diane Austin, Executive Director of Statewide Parent Advocacy. And it goes on to say that now the state will take them whenever they want. It could end with an award of custody to the division for at least six months, maybe even longer. And it just goes on. They're saying there doesn't need to be any evidence you're a bad parent. The state wants your kids. But the ruling can be used against people that don't want their kids taken. Uh, the article goes on. And, and, it, and it's just going to get worse and worse. People go, but but that's tyranny. That That's right. You don't stand up. The worst people get in charge. And then they get replaced with people that are even more vicious and wicked and twisted and inventing new evils. They run around... They run around continually inventing new, new forms of wickedness. There's a uh, Bible verse. Will you guys search the Bible verse? Um, it's a Bible verse inventing new forms of evil or invent it, running around continually inventing new forms of wickedness. I want the exact quote. Thanks. Let's go to a clip of the MSNBC promo that they ran hundreds of times and are still running, saying your kids belong to them. We have a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. And the idea is, hey, don't, hey, don't take care of your kids, we will. Hey, most of your kids got neurological disorders. We're not going to ask why that happened. <laughs> we did it to them. <laughs> we're going to we're going to take them from you. And now they're saying kill kids up to age three if they're autistic. That's the journal of uh, what bioethics slanderers, god haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. And what was uh, put that back up for me? I'm going to give the verse. Romans 1.30, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the new international version. Where's the King James? King James always says it best. Uh, but there you go, my friends. There you go. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Why not just get rid of the parents? The state comes to your kids and says, hey, little kid, we'll be your friend. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Well, 
Harvard has come out and said, guess what? It's causing our autism in a big national decade-long study. It's mercury. They don't say where it's coming from. They say maybe diesel fumes. Oh, maybe maybe something they can tax, but, but, but never the mercury in the vaccines. And here's another uh, report. Technology and collective action, the effect of cell phone coverage and political violence in Africa. Uh, we're going to be uh, breaking that down uh, coming up. And here's a new uh, ruling by the New Jersey Supreme Court. The CPS can take your children with no evidence of neglect or abuse. You thought it was bad that you know they come to your house because a neighbor saw your kids playing in the backyard. You see those cases and, and, they, and you invite them in and they say they see dirty plates in the sink. Of course, you go to a CPS facility, they're like abusing the children. There's dirt everywhere. They're locking them up in basements. That's okay, though. But not even a dirty plate now. We just want to take your kids. Disappeared off with their heads, you know, for their safety. Take them away. NDAA, take you away. Spy on you without warrants. <laughs> Why not? It's for your safety. <laughs> $85 billion a month to foreign banks. Congress is told they won't be told specifically who gets it. That doesn't sound like a heist. $85 billion a month now for a year and a half. Four, it was $40 billion a month before that. That's just one way they're stealing. Last number I saw in Bloomberg was $47 trillion in banker bailouts the last four years. It's really five years, but we haven't got a number in a year. Gee, wonder why they want tyranny. $47 trillion stolen, not even our debt, but everything's fine. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.